what our markets are doing right now is consolidating at these lower levels and maybe just maybe the near term would be dependent on a number of factors including of course what happens to the globe but also if there is something coming with GST, if there is some more news flow that might keep the markets excited because frankly aside of that we are devoid of news, we are done with the policy, we are done with um, earnings and anything else comes up only in the month of January. Yeah, I think tomorrow we, we're getting the IIP numbers and the CPI, CPI data. Up. So that will be the key macro indicators at least for tomorrow to monitor. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens yeah. to yields as well because they have yes. hardened quite considerably. Well, let's talk about all of that with Sachin Shah of MK Investment. He joins us right now with a quick perspective. Sachin, good evening. Thanks much for joining in. Uh, a bit of a lull in the markets really with a bit of a downward bias. What is it that you are doing within your portfolios? Would you be uh, sitting tight on cash if you had it or are you finding lucrative opportunities right now? Well, you are right. Actually, this is a, a bit of a, a, a subdued environment at this point in time because what we have seen is that, uh, you know, things at the ground level are a bit slow. And from that perspective, actually, uh, you know, it is, it is a bit challenging in terms of deploying new money. But yes, uh, we have a decent amount of cash and we would like to deploy because as, I, as you know that the valuations are becoming reasonable for a, for a lot of sectors. Uh, so from that perspective, yes, we, we continue to invest. Okay. Uh, I wonder, would you be a buyer into a lot of the names which have come off from the kind of highs that they enjoy? Because a lot of the, the, the eight, nine out of the top 10 most expensive stocks in the month of October on the valuation basis have come off anywhere between 5% to 15%. Are you shopping there or are you shopping in areas which were anyways cheap but are now starting to find their mojo? Well, I think uh, we'll be a little bit more focused on areas which are a little more cheap uh, because uh, where we feel the valuation is much more comfortable. So say sectors like you say pharmaceutical sectors or say something in the even uh, you know some bit on the auto ancillary side. So you know some of those sectors have actually come off quite a bit if you see the last three years, right? Uh, and if we believe that uh, there is some catalyst in terms of the business outlook getting a little better over there, uh, we would like to actually play over there. Sachin, what about the telecom space, which has been in focus in the recent past, of course, for various reasons. But uh, would you take a bet there as well? Because few months back, if someone would have asked, uh, you know, Bharti Airtel now is the top performing nifty stock of this year at least. Sure. So telecom has been a good bounce. Uh, as you rightly said, that Bharti has been the, one of the better performers. Uh, we've also played telecom. Uh, we invested almost six to eight months back in the space, uh, not through Bharti, but some of the other players, the new players in the industry. And uh, we we have also we believe that telecom is is the story which will continue to do well for at least uh, another twelve to eighteen months. You remain invested in the space, whichever stock you've bought. Okay. Um, moving away from uh, telecom, uh, Sachin, the other space, and I'm going to include the broader markets here. Uh, just when we hit the record high levels, at least for the benchmark indices, there were talks how broader markets can revive from here because they have been trading at a discount to Nifty now. But off late in the recent past, once again, uh, that selling pressure has intensified in that area. Uh, if, if markets were to scale higher from here, let's say, do you think the participation will come back from the mid cap uh, and the small cap space or once again it will be a polarized move well you know it's very difficult to say because at one end what we've seen is that the divergence uh, between the mid cap and the small cap versus the few nifty stocks has been extremely high if you see on a three-year basis the divergence is as high as nearly 40 odd percent in the sense that the the small cap index I think in the in the last two years is down more than 30 odd percent nifty is up good 10 percent so the divergence is as big as 40 50 percent in the last two three years so you know uh, but at the same time we are we are not seeing too much of interest coming in from the uh, the domestic institutional investors side uh, on the mid cap and the small cap segment uh, because of their own challenges so you know it's it's difficult to at this point in time figure out at what is the catalyst that's going to be for this to capture this valuation gap and bridge this uh, you know, uh, this big divergence over a period of next six months or so. But at this point in time, honestly, uh, it's difficult to 
uh, figure out what is that cattle is going to be. Okay. Uh, while we speak, just want to address the markets. We are a day's low now. Nifty is in the red. 11.842 is where it's currently trading. Um, Sachin, of course, the focus shifts to uh, uh, the upcoming budget then next year. Uh, and a lot has been spoken about with regard to the fiscal situation because of the revenues not coming in uh, via indirect taxes. That's GST. Let's see any sort of tinkering happens uh, there or not. But uh, divestment is the other thing from where government will try to get majority of its revenue. Revenue now, uh, going by that theme, do you think PSU stocks can be a good play in 2020? Well, you know, uh, just because of divestment, I'm not very sure at this point in time. Yeah, but once the divestment happens and once the new owners take over those companies, and then what is the plan of those new owners in terms of uh, growing those businesses to the different level and in terms of the profitability? I think yes, that will be a very very interesting uh, space to watch out from that perspective. So I think it's a big big reform that this country has been waiting for a while and probably it will happen this time. So uh, yes, we, we are very closely watching that space.